everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be on how I store my makeup. Um, I really wouldn't have thought to show you guys this, but a lot of viewers I've noticed lately have been asking me to show how I keep my makeup. And it's uh, kind of funny because <laughs> I never had makeup before I started making videos. If you watch me at all, you know I'm not a makeup artist. I don't have a ton of makeup, but I probably have more than the average bear now that I have been making videos for a couple of years and I've been testing out a lot of things. But I know compared to some people on YouTube who really are makeup junkies and collect and save everything, that I have very little compared to them. So anyway, since you guys had asked, I am happy to show you where I keep my makeup. I live in a house that was built in 1831 in New England and the bathroom that I had been using for the last uh, 18 years um, was uh, built in 1924 and it was the size of a closet and so I can't blame myself for not having much makeup because number one I didn't wear much and number two I had no place to put it so I'm just going to show you a quick picture of my old bathroom and so when you see my new bathroom you'll be like oh my god that girl is living in the life of luxury but I've only had this one for two years now but I gotta say I love it and since I had already been making videos at the time that I was doing my construction I was already starting to get more makeup and so I picked cabinets specifically where I could store a lot of stuff in it and not to have to have it in a separate closet which is what I did in my old bathroom so that's the backstory on my bathroom come on upstairs with me and I'll show you how and where I store my makeup welcome back to my bathroom some of you have been here a number of times with um, hair tutorials or skincare but here's my vanity I think it's the first time I've ever really shown it in a video um, so it's a floating countertop with a big oversized drawer underneath and this is where I store all of my makeup. I don't have to have it in a separate room or a separate closet anymore. So the way I do it is that I do my everyday makeup right here on the top of my vanity. Because this is my vanity, I don't have to share it with anyone else. My husband has a separate one over there which of course has absolutely nothing on it. I like to keep everything up and out and on the vanity counter so I can get to it quickly and easily. So I like to use the divide and conquer method. So I have everything divided up into subcategories in separate little containers. And these little containers, you know, they're, they're all great. They're different styles. I suppose I could do something a little more cohesive, but my bathroom is basically gray and white. So as long as I stick to gray, white, and clear, I figure I'm good. Um, so these containers, are just inexpensive things that I picked up and I like to go I like smaller containers because I find that if I have a big container there's too much stuff in it and then I can never find what I'm looking for so that's why I go with the divide and conquer method so like over here this is my uh, eye pencils my everyday eye pencils and you know I like them to be nice and loosey-goosey in here because if they're not I can never find the one that I'm looking for and this is all eyebrow and eyelash stuff so there's an eyelash curler in here, and there's eyebrow pencils, and my favorite mascaras, and they're in there, and I can see exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, you know, these two little clear ones, those were from probably Walmart. They came out of probably a bigger uh, container set. And this just has my face powders and my concealers and my eye makeup. And then back here, I just have a couple of things for the lips because I keep most of my lipsticks downstairs um, in my office and in my purse so I can select a good color lipstick to put on, mainly for making a video. Um, these are my everyday brushes. And this is like an auxiliary set of stuff. It just, junk just falls in there. Brushes, scissors, a zip zapper, my big um, nail scrubbing brush because I'm a big gardener and my nails are always dirty and of course my glasses live in there so that when I'm in here and I need to read a label I can see. So that's where I keep all my auxiliary brushes then the brushes that I use every day I keep right here in this little travel case and this is a great little case this is what the IT Cosmetics uh, Heavenly Lux brush set comes in and there's a top to this so that when I want to travel I just pop the top on and I have all my brushes right there ready to go. So it's divided and the way I do it is I keep all my eyeshadow brushes here in the front and these are pretty much my everyday brushes. And then back here these are my face brushes. Over here this is just a few lip things that I have up here. A lip liner and um, oh, my Wonder Pencil that's for outside the lips. This is my e.l.f. 
primer and plumper. I love this guy. I use the plump side just about every day, and now I'm using the primer side since I did that little video that showed how you can prime up your above your lip lines to make them almost disappear. And then I have just one little lip gloss up here, um, Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain. It's pretty nice, but it doesn't last very long. I just have three items in here because this is my go-to everyday makeup, is the IT Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation followed by the IT Cosmetics CC Radiance Ombre Bronzer. And then the blush that I've been wearing a lot lately is the, is the NYX blush in Peach. All right, so those are those little guys, and they'll just sit in there together. I'll put that on top so I can get it out easier. And then over here, like I said, is my under eye concealer and my eyeshadow and my eye primer. So um, actually this is not an under eye concealer. This is Revlon Color Stay. This is for if I have a giant zit because that has salicylic acid in it. But then my favorite under eye concealers right now, this is MAC uh, Moisture Cover Select. That's a concealer. And this is the Armani Master Corrector in the peach color. Then I have my MAC Paint Pots stacked up right here. So there is, uh, I'll turn it right side up. There's Painterly. And then here's, I just have them all stacked in here. So these are my go-to everyday shadows. So there's my MAC Blanc type, which as you can see, I use that quite frequently because I've hit pan on it. And then this is MAC Era, which I love and have been using a lot lately. Um, MAC Satin Taupe, which I've also been using a lot lately. And then way down in the bottom, I have another MAC Paint Pot, um, my NYX white eyeshadow base, and then, oh, I have, what is that? Is that two more MAC Paint Pots? So I guess I have all my paint pots, pots in here. Here's groundwork, so that bottom one would be Camel Coat, and then this guy is another MAC shadow. This one is Shale, that's kind of a purple tone. So that's how I keep those. Of course, I keep Painterly on the top, because that's the one I go to most often. And then these three colors, this has been my daily eye look every day, has been, um, Satin Taupe Era and Blanc Type. This is my eyelash and eyebrow container. And in here I have my favorite, current favorite mascaras. I have some eyebrow tools. This is the It Cosmetics Your Brows But Better. I have my eyelash curler in there. Uh, here's another brow kit that I just got. This is Milani Brow Fix. And then I have a little elf pen for fixing mascara mistakes. So all my mascara, eyelash and eyebrow stuff is all in here. So whether I want to curl my lashes or um, fix a mistake or put on mascara or fix up my eyebrows, everything is in this one container. And then over here in this container, this is my eyeliners. And I, you know, I suppose I could take this out and mix my eyeliners in here, but I like to have my eyeliners with a lot of room so that I can find the one that I'm looking for. My favorites are the Sephora ones and they're always right here and I use those almost every day. Beyond this, which is my basic kind of everyday stack of makeup, then I have all the auxiliary makeup down here in this drawer. So let me just open this up. So this is like just this giant drawer that lives underneath my floating vanity and all my other makeup is down here. So um, this seems like kind of a lot to me. All my liquid foundations are in here, um, all my bigger eyeshadow palettes are in here. So like the eyeshadow palettes I use a lot and some of the liquid foundations I use a lot, but most of this stuff, I gotta say, I really don't use that much. Um, and what I have in here are just these little clear plastic section containers and these are from Target. So I've loaded this one, this section up with Q-tips and then I like to keep things organized by what kind of makeup it is. So it's like lip things are in here. These are all powders. I have makeup removers in this front section. Um, these are all my liquid foundations kind of in this area. And then if we move to the back, I have another very similar one and this one is also from Target. Um, little plastic you know, makeup divider thing and that's there and that is also full of makeup and it was just convenient that it was such a perfect fit into the drawer so I just stuck two of them in there and there you have it. So that's it. That's where and how I store my makeup. As always, thanks so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate your time and I hope that you have a great day. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.